Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So I'm driving myself three and a half hours to Tahoe because the person I was supposed to be taking had to bail out last minute because of family obligations. So I have to drive three and a half hours by myself to a place I've never driven before and maybe need snow chain or tire chains. Uh, I have them. I've just never used them or know how to put them on. So I also, it's eight o'clock and I have about an hour to get all my stuff ready. Pit stop at In-N-Out and then back on the road. Okay, it has been fine. We made it to the cabin. It is sketchy as fuck. This is the bedroom, one of them at least, um, with all of the beds. So that's super cool. There's a uh, lots of Jesus imagery, guns on the wall, uh, doors that are bolted shut, doors that are unlocked and can't be locked. Uh, did I mention the giant crosses everywhere, and the doors full of knives? and the pictures of black ladies washing white ladies. Really, it's just an interesting place, but it's two o'clock, we got in like half an hour ago and we're gonna crash and then go do the snowboarding thing tomorrow at like 8 a.m. Yay. It's now Sunday, and my friends have left for the mountain, and I am waiting for Steven to come pick me up. So I guess I should tell you exactly what happened. Basically, we were coming down the bend, we're about a quarter mile from Kirkwood, which is where we were going skiing and snowboarding, and uh, we, w we went around, my friend's car was ahead of me, and we saw a car turned like on its side, and another car off to the side that looked like it had been hit, and another car that was parked, uh, and then we hit a patch of black ice, so both of us were able to get gain control of the vehicle, slow down. We pulled off to the side, and we parked our cars, um, and Howard was uh, taking off a seatbelt so we could go try to help people. And then we got rear-ended by a car that was going way too fast down that hill and also hit the black ice and couldn't control the car. Uh, so they hit the shit out of my car, pushed me into uh, my friend's car. And then after we got hit, I looked behind me to see what happened, and then I saw more cars flipping, and I freaked the fuck out. And I just stood there and braced for impact, and then none of them hit us. They all hit each other. There was, I think, about ten cars in the main pileup, three in our accident, and then two ahead. It was like 15 and 16 cars. Uh, I think it was 10, maybe 11 in the big accident. I can't remember. Uh, I kind of didn't leave for a while, and then a tow truck came and helped. Uh, but it was uh, not how I wanted the day to go at all. No. Uh, cars totaled. I had to get towed. And, yeah, I had to find someone to pick me up and take me home. Because, cause, uh, yeah, I have to go home, you know. Uh, yeah, so it's been a really stressful day. Really anxious. Now we're really sore. And uh, hopefully, hopefully Steven gets here soon and rescues me. Operation Rescue Ritz plays. <sighs> yeah. So many thanks to my roommate Steven for picking me up and taking me home. The reason I had to get picked up was because my friend's car was a four-seat car. There were five of us and all of our gear, and there was no way we could fit all of our stuff in his car and get home. So I had Steven come pick me up, give me a ride, take me home. It was awesome. Big shout out. He didn't have to do it, but he did. So that was helpful and a lot less stressful and anxious, like anxiety. Made things a little bit nicer, basically. 
At this point, everything is in the hands of the insurance, so we will see how that goes, see if I'm getting a new car or my car fixed. Uh, the rear axle was bent, it looked like, and there was looked like some frame damage on the top, so I don't know if it's going to be totaled out or not, but I'm assuming at some point today I'll get a call and or an email and be like, well, this is what's happening with your car, this is what's happening with the other insurance, and this is how everything's going to get sorted, so I, I can't do anything about it, my hands are tied. Um, I shouldn't be at fault because I was parked with my hazards on, but we will see what happens because the world's a weird place sometimes, you know. Uh, I'm still a little bit sore, but I got a good night's sleep last night, so I'm hoping that'll, uh, you know, continue to just let the pain subside. My neck's still a little stiff, uh, same with my shoulders and arms, but, you know, it is what it is. Today's fan art is by Arctanus, and it is a Persona 4 inspired piece. So thanks, Arctanus. If you guys want to be featured on the vlog for your fan art, then just tweet it at me at RitzPlays or using the hashtag RitzPlays on Tumblr. And be sure to resend any of them because some of them I have, I don't actually have the artist's name. I'd love to have that so I can properly credit the actual artist. That's going to do it for today's vlog. As always, friendos, my name is Ritz, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. He looks pretty high. He looks this. really high. Ah! Ow! Sorry, man, for <laughs> shooting you with the Go about maze. your ways. Please yeah, business. You need to... Oh, no drugs in him. No He's drugs. fine. He's fine. He's fine. Ow. Yeah, let's go topless all the time. I'll just start doing some crunches. Whatevs. We'll be fine. Would I rather have no hands or have a naked fat guy stalking you at all times? I already have this one. Thanks, Kevin. Really appreciate it, bud.